Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well, we've got a great one for you today. If you keep your eyes on the bottom of a page, we've got an animated promo bar. Now we did this a while back and somebody's asked for it again recently. Here it is coming in at the bottom. When we roll up, we've got our button, some text is gonna roll in. It's gonna stick to the top up there. And when you roll back down, it's gonna stay there till it gets to its position and then roll back out. And that's a nice little feature to have on your site. That's going to get people's attention pretty quickly if they're scrolling up and down your site. And of course, if you've got a sale on or something like that, it's a great way of advertising. Really easy to do. There's no coding involved in this today at all. We're just using the inbuilt features of the Divi theme itself. So let's get started. I'm going to enable the visual builder so we can build on the front end. Now uh, let's go down and there's our little promo bar. I'm going to go ahead and delete the section and row that it's in and we'll start from scratch. Okay I'm going to add a new section really doesn't matter wherever you want to put yours I'm just going to put mine right here. I'm going to make it a regular section. Inside I'm going to put a row I think with just two columns I think I might use offset a little bit, maybe like that. It's entirely up to you though. In the first one, I'm going to use a blurb so we can use an icon for the notification. I move this over here. And for the title, I'm going to say mega sale on today. Obviously, whatever it is you want to put for your promo title up there. As you can see, it's got that there. You can put an underline in there if you want to. I'm actually going to get rid of that and just stick with that title. Image and icon just below. I want to use an icon. I'm going to use a dollar sign. That'll do fine. There we are. And you can search, you can scroll through, and there's a little button that'll give you a breakout if you want to look at them on a bigger box right there. Great, well I'm happy with that part of it. If we roll on down, if you want to link this to the sales page or wherever it is you're going to take your visitors, you can put a link in right here. And you can link the title somewhere and the module somewhere else or use the same link for both. Personally, I'd probably just put it in the module link right there. And always best practice, if you're linking to your own site, keep it in the same window. If you're linking to somebody else's site or off-site, open it in a new tab so that your site stays open. Great. Well, I'm not going to put a, a background or an admin label in there. Let's go with design. I'm going to go down to image and icon. I'm going to make mine blue. And I want it on the left, actually. And there it is right there. Now, I think I want it just a little bit bigger than that. Not quite as big as that. Something like that will do for me. Okay, and the actual text itself, you can either go down to heading text or you can hit the little paintbrush attached to it. It'll take you straight there. At the moment, I'm going to leave it the color it is. I'm not going to change the font with Divi. You've got an absolutely crazy amount of fonts. Just go in there, roll over one. It'll give you an example of it. I'm going to leave mine on the default. I think I will capitalize mine text color. I'll change that in a minute when I put the background in. I'll leave it for the moment. But I actually want it more central to our little icon there. I'm going to use that, do that with line height. So if we go down, here's the line height. Just roll it on up and you see it's starting to drop down. Be aware that it's creating a bit of space on the bottom of that. I might make that icon a little bit smaller and the writing a bit bigger. Let's make that text a little bit bigger say 25 I can take the line height down a bit for that so it's fairly central to our little icon there okay well that works for me so let's save our changes there okay well let's add a new module now in the right hand column and for this one I'm going to put a simple button in I'm going to roll down there's a button module let's say let's say visit the sale or whatever it is you want to say for your button. If I move this out of the way you can see the button. And again put the link in down here. Same best practices apply. I'm just putting a hashtag in place of a link there. 
not going to give it an admin label let's go over to design and we'll do some simple styling on it I'm going to go down to button I want to use custom styles I'm going to take my text size down I think to about 16 pixels text color I'm going to make white it'll disappear into the background there button background let's keep this simple we'll make it the same color blue as our icon there and perhaps when they hover over it and this is common to all Divi modules if you hover over the dark writing within a module you'll see some icons if there's a little arrow there you can set a hover state desktops when the mouse is not on it hover obviously when the mouse is on it let's change color on hover to perhaps green and we'll flip it back there rolling on down don't want a border width or I don't want a border I should say so I'm going to take the width down to zero and radius I'm going to have rounded corners on my button so let's give it perhaps 25 or 30 pixels that works fine for me button font again I'm going to leave mine on the default I think I will capitalize it though and I don't want a button icon if you do that's entirely up to you put one in whatever it is you want to put in if you want to show it all the time we can go down just below here there's another little button to show it all the time just flip that to no and your icon will be there all the time I'm not going to have a button on, uh, icon on my button today so I'm going to switch that little thing to off great well that's our basic structure there so let's color up the background so we can see what's going on so let's save the button settings we're going to go into the row itself green tab for the row blue tab for the section I'm going to go into this row in the content I'm going to give it a black background it's entirely up to you what you give yours obviously there we go I also want to make this row full width so it stretches the whole of the screen so to do that I need to go into design sizing width I'm going to take up to 100% I'm going to copy that control C and paste it in the max width just down below control V or you can type it in if you prefer we've now got a, a full width row there Great, well let's make it the size that we want it and we'll color up our little modules so we can see them better and add some animations. So I think what I'll do is while we're in the row, I'm gonna take any spacing away, which is just down below sizing. So let's, we'll go zero and add it from zero. So I'm gonna start off at zero at the top and zero at the bottom. And let's increment up a little bit really don't want too much space I think I'll give it four picks and we can adjust our modules inside so they're more central and put them where we want them also great so I'm gonna leave that just like that I think actually if I take some more off the bottom I'm gonna uncheck the chain take that bottom down some so it's a little skinnier there we go we'll save this Let's go into this first module put it where we want it I'm going to go in there I'm going to click on the little paintbrush for the title text there I'm going to make it white so I can see it that's great and we could push it down slightly or take a bit more margin off the bottom there let's go down to sizing it doesn't need to be full width so I'm going to make mine about 40% I guess let's change that from pixels to percent let's say 40 and a percent sign that's too short that's all right well, that's okay actually I'm gonna align mine to the right hand side and let's close up the sizing and spacing let's just give it a tiny bit of padding on the top just gonna increment up with the arrows there we go I think that's about right there great we'll save that let's go into our button now I just need to push that down a little bit so again I'm going to go design if we roll down we've got spacing I just need to add a bit of margin to the top not padding on this because if I add padding it'll make the button deeper so let's use margin again I'm just incrementing up with a little arrow there that looks about right for me great okay what I'm going to do now is take away any padding from the section that it's in top and bottom so it's pretty much sitting on the bar below and we'll add our little scroll effect and make it sticky so blue section blue tab for the section I'm going to go in there 
Spacing wise, I'm going to take away any padding top and bottom by simply putting a zero in, hitting the chain. And there we go. Fantastic. If you wanted to make it stand out a bit more, you could put a little colored border top and bottom. I'm not too displeased with that though. That's going to work for me. Okay, well, let's save our changes here. We're going to go back into the row and we're going to create our scroll effects for the actual row itself. I'm not happy with the way this is aligned, our little thing. I want it more over to the right here. So let's go back into our little blurb module. Content width, I'm actually going to delete that. Get it back to the default where it was. And the actual width rather than the content width, I'm going to take that down to 40%. There we go. Now I'm going to align it to the right. That's more where I wanted it. Great. Well, I'm happy with where the button is. That can stay exactly where it is. Let's make this thing sticky and create the scroll effect. First thing we want is to go into our row and we'll make it sticky. Over to advanced. Down to scroll effects. And I'm going to say stick to top. Now when I roll up the page, it's going to stick just under the menu there. And it'll stay there. The reason that bit's going over the top of it, that's actually a pop-up, so you won't see that. That's actually our footer. And when we roll back down, it's going to go back to where it was. If you wanted to, you could have it stick to the top and the bottom. We put this in here, stick to top and bottom. It's going to always be on the bottom of our screen there, but when we roll up to its position, it'll roll up and stick to the top there. When we roll back down, it'll place it on the bottom there. That's another option. I'm actually just going to use stick to the top. I like it to come in, do its animation, and then stick to the top. Great. So let's actually create the animation for those two modules now. We'll save our changes here. Go into the little modules. Here's our blurb module. I'm going to go over to advanced and scroll effects. I want to move it horizontally so it comes in from the left. So I'm going to highlight horizontal motion and hit enable horizontal motion. As you can see, it's all we already moved it. We've got a little scale here. That's the bottom of the viewport where it comes in there. That's the top of the viewport just below the menu there. And this is the middle at 50%. You can move this. Well, I want this to start off at negative. Let's try negative 10. I want it to be sort of over to the left hand side, negative 10. That's not even going to do it. I think if we roll it down, it'll be further over. That's going to work for me, negative 15. So it's going to come in from that side. When it gets to about 60% of the screen, I want it to be where it's supposed to be, which is zero. So I'm going to move my 50 up to 60 here. And I'm just clicking on it with left clicking and moving it up to 60. You've got two little arrows, so if you want it to be specific for a certain area, you can drag those arrows up or down and make it wide if you want to, but that's gonna work for me today. And I don't want any changes once it gets above that. I want it to stay exactly as it is. So I'm gonna put a zero in there, because if I leave it on minus four, they'll sort of cross over. You see it's going back. I don't want it to go back. So I'm gonna make that a zero. Now when I roll up, it'll go to where it's supposed to be and stay there. When we roll back down, it'll go back out. Now we need to do pretty much opposite effect for our button. So let's go in there. Dark tab of the module. Let's roll it down to the bottom. I'm going to go to the advanced again. Scroll effects. Again, I want to use horizontal and enable it. There's our little rule. I kind of want to do the opposite. So let's try just regular 10. That's pretty much good enough. You'll see it sliding in from the side. 60%, I want it to be zero. And zero at the top too. So they should both slide in and meet each other as they go up the page here. There we go, and it's gonna to stick to the top. Obviously you can position these wherever you want. And don't forget, if you are intending to use this on tablet and mobile, you can go in there for all of these things Roll over the dark writing. Again, this is common to all Divi modules. If you see a little cell phone type icon there, you can set different variations for tablet 
and phone. For expediency, I'm not going to go into that today, but you'll need to do this if you're intending to do it on tablet and phone. Great. So I'm fairly happy with the way that's working now. We should be good to go. Let's save our changes here. We'll save the page changes and exit the Visual Builder. Here we go. Let's roll down the page and you'll see the little bar come in and our little modules slide in from either side. And it's going to stick to the top there. When we go back down the site, it's going to do the opposite. And that's a nice little eye catching feature to have on your site. People are scrolling down your site and that happens. It's going to get their attention pretty quickly, which is what you want. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. There is how to build an animated little promo bar. I hope that's answered that question for you. Don't forget, if you have any questions, drop them down below the video. I'll do my best to answer them for you or make a demo video. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.